Today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, some of the classic intentional torts and uh, what they are, um, what, 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 they, what their elements are and what, what they're used for. Um, well, the first one you usually learn about in law school is battery. Now, civil battery is a little bit distinct from uh, criminal battery. Criminal battery, um, well, first of all, there's a, there's a higher burden of proof in criminal court. And second of all, with criminal charges, you are looking at the possibility of incarceration. And many, and they can be also defined differently. A civil battery is defined as a um, harmful offense, uh, um, a, a harmful or offensive, an intentional harmful or offensive touching. Um, that, so it doesn't have to necessarily inflict an injury. If the person finds it offensive, uh, that can also still be considered a battery. Um, there's actually case law out there of people who were successfully sued for battery, for example, for blowing smoke in somebody's face, like cigar smoke. Um, so it's a little bit different than a criminal battery, which typically... A lot um, requires a little bit more than that to get somebody for a criminal battery. Um, other common uh, intentional torts you see is assault. Assault, a lot of people misunderstand what assault means. They, when they use the word assault, they typically use it to talk about what is a, what would legally be called a battery. Assault is placing, civil assault is to place somebody in imminent, um, in, in, uh, fear of an imminent harmful or offensive touching. Uh, it, it, an example of that would be like if you deliberately threw a bean ball at, at somebody's head and not intending to hit them, but just, you know, trying to whiz it by their head. That's an assault. Now, if you hit them in the head, that's a battery. Now, under Oklahoma criminal law, if you throw a bean ball at somebody, it would be called an, a... Uh, could be considered either an assault and battery, or it might be written up as a uh, uh, assault and battery with a dangerous instrument. The dangerous instrument being the ball. Um, certainly, if it's like a, a baseball or, or a rock, that's within the scope of that that law. Um, in civil court, if you if you throw it at them and miss, whether it's intentional or not, it's an assault. If you hit them, it would be a battery. Um, another intentional tort would be um, false imprisonment. That's basically the intentional confining someone against their will to a bounded area. It's sort of a civil equivalent to like a kidnap, although um, kidnap uh, kidnap's a little bit different, but it's basically, there's a lot of case law do with false imprisonment involving um, people that were wrongfully detained for shoplifting. And there is, Oklahoma does recognize a shopkeep privilege, which is something I'll probably talk about in a future um, video. But suffice it to say that that's what false imprisonment is. Um, there's also the intentional tort of uh, trespass to land and trespass to chattels. Trespass to land is exactly what it sounds, although there's an interesting wrinkle with trespass to land. The intent element of trespass to land is an intentional entry upon the property of another. It's the intent to enter the property that matters. If you intentionally enter a property believing that it's your property, but it turns out it wasn't your property, that's still actionable as um, trespass. Uh, trespass to chattels is if you interfere with the chattel of another, intentionally interfere with the chattel of another. That would be, for example, like if you keyed somebody's car. Now, if it's an extreme interference where you actually uh, interfere with it to the extent of converting it to your own use, that's called conversion, and that's a different tort. Um, another um, intentional tort that comes up from time to time is, inten is intentional infliction of emotional distress. And that's basically where if an individual engages in extreme and outrageous conduct that would offend a, um, or that would harm uh, the, emo the emotions of a reasonable person and, and actually does harm the, per the, the uh, emotionally harm the person it was, that was the tort was committed upon. Um, and, and those are all intentional. Those are all the classic intentional torts. Um, 
if you have questions about these or if you have um, if you have a legal issue you need help with, I would encourage you to go to to makelaweasy.com where we help put the law to work for you.